Hello everybody and welcome to Real to Real, the best movie review show in the world. My name is Gabe. And I'm Jacob and today we will start our throwback movie reviews with the iconic 2014 Whiplash. Without further ado, let's drum roll into the trailer. This place is nice. I really like the music that they play. Bob Ellis on the drums. <laughs> I'm part of Schaefer's Top Jazz Orchestra. It's the best music school in the country. The key is to just relax. Don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry about what the other guys are thinking. You're here for a reason. Have fun. Five, six, and. I want to be great. And you're not. We got Buddy Rich here. A little trouble there. You're rushing. Here we go. Five, six, and. Were you rushing or were you dragging? I, I don't know. If you deliberately sabotage my band, I will gut you like a pig. Oh, my dear God. Are you one of those single tear people? You are a worthless pansy ass who is now weeping and slobbering all over my drum set like a nine-year-old girl. So how's it going with the studio band? Good. Yeah, I think he likes me more now. I push people beyond what's expected of them. I believe that is an absolute necessity. I want to be one of the greats. And because I'm doing that, it's going to take up more of my time. And this is why I don't think that we should be together. I would never let him put my son through hell. Why would you let him get away with what he did to you? There are no two words in the English language more harmful than good job. Directed and written by Damien Chazelle, the cast mainly consists of Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons, with several appearances of both Melissa Benoist and Paul Razor. The story begins with the main character, Andrew Neiman, as he desperately wants to become a drummer like Buddy Rich. Throughout his life, he has played the drums, which led him to the best music school in America. As Andrew attends school, he realizes he is lacking as his teacher consistently puts him as the page turner for the other drummer. Andrew then begins to practice and practice and it is no and is noticed and invited by Terrence Fletcher, the best teacher of the elite studio band, to join his class. As he joins his class, he sees Fletcher Fletcher's brutal teaching methods, Fletcher's relentless pursuit for perfection pushes Andrew both mentally, physically, as he tries to prove himself to him. As he continues on, he faces numerous challenges and setbacks, which makes him exhausted. Fletcher's teaching methods border on abuse, but Andrew's determination to impress and achieve greatness pushes him forward. During a competition, Andrew forgot his sticks at a nearby rest stop, and Fletcher demands he uses his own sticks and gives him 10 minutes to be back or else. So Andrew quickly finds a car and speeds his way back to the rest stop. This unfortunately leads to Andrew crashing and flipping the car, which leaves him injured, but doesn't stop Andrew as he runs to the stop. As Fletcher is about to start, Andrew barrels in and sits down to play, giving his best performance with his injuries. Sadly, it's not enough as Fletcher stops the performance to embarrass Andrew on stage, which leads to Andrew attacking Fletcher with pure rage. This opens up an investigation which eventually leads to Fletcher getting fired. After a while, Andrew meets up with Fletcher in a jazz club and talk, which leads to them to create a new group in which it seems that both Andrew and Fletcher are happy again. Well, after all that, let's tackle into this movie clip. Am I late? Perfect timing. Come on in, Connolly. Uh, you two know each other, right? Yeah, yeah, Nassau band. Hey, what's up, Andrew? Now, uh, Connolly, I've made Neiman a temporary core, but with this competition coming up, I just want to make very sure this chart is in the best shape it can be. Yeah, this one right here, right? 
I gave Connolly the chart this morning. All I want to do now is just uh, give you both a crack at it, all right? So, Neiman, go ahead, jump on the kit. We'll take it from the top. Okay. I don't want you to worry about hits right now. Just tempo, okay? Okay. All set. Not quite my tempo. Connolly? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll Connolly, I can take it right back ahead. from the top. I can do it. Nope. We'll go with Connolly now. Hey, do you mind? Okay, man, ready? Mm hmm? Perfect, Connolly. Of $3.3 million, it made that money back, bringing in a worldwide total of $49 million in the box office. The film took 19 days to film, and it only took a total of 10 weeks to edit, finish the entire film, and submit it. Miles Teller drummed everything he did in the movie and has been drumming since he was only 15. He also was in every single scene in the entire movie. But to prepare for the movie, he took lessons four hours a day, three days a week to prepare. J.K. Simmons' acting in this movie didn't go unnoticed, with him winning 47 awards for his role as Fletcher. This film alone won so many awards for its editing style and sound mixing that it's surprising how they were able to produce it in only 10 weeks. This movie is ranked all over the place on different websites. It's the 44th best movie on IMDb, the 93rd on Time Out, and 298th on Greatest Films. So it's just all over the place. It's safe to say that this movie has aged well over the years, but we gotta keep these piss green lights on. We'll be back with the reviews after this quick commercial. We really try and keep track of what's going on in the world as far as what are the trends. And so when a student comes here, they're learning the marketing aspects of video production with turnkey. So they learn how to write, storyboard, and capture video, set lights, set audio, and then they learn how to edit everything from start to finish. We believe that we are providing a transformative educational experience. It's hands-on, it's project-based, it's portfolio-based, it's based on real world industry experiences. They take deep dives on all of these, you know, a lot of the classes are tiered, so you get an entry level course and then an advanced, and then you know, you hit your capstone projects where you're bringing them all together. So it, it's nice the way that they structure it and help you get a deeper understanding of stuff that you may or may not have thought you already had a good handle on. I honestly didn't expect to enjoy this at all, but it was a pretty good movie, and I liked the interactions with Miles and J.K. Simmons' characters, which is great since it's pretty much an entire movie. While this movie was a good movie, I find it confusing as to why this is rated a 44 out of 100 on the IMDb's Top 100 Films, as this film is lacking in a lot of aspects. This film brings me to the part that I didn't like in the movie. First is the lighting, where the director just doesn't want any daylight and uses mainly the dark and weird piss green lights in pretty much the entire entire movie, which made me bored with the lack of environment. Also, how they show Andrew's life out of school and the band. It always seems like they wrote those parts last minute, like how Andrew went to the movies with his dad. It just doesn't make sense and seems unscripted, as they had unnerving pauses and many other discrepancies. Or how he went on a date with Nicole, which also doesn't make quite, which also doesn't make that much sense, and is just really awkward to look at. It feels like they added those scenes to just get a slightly higher runtime, because if they were to get rid of those scenes, it would be an hour and 26 minutes instead of an hour and 46 minutes. Again, this movie was good. It's just my problem lies with it being a 44 out of 100 in the top 100 movies, which 
doesn't deserve that rank. At most, I'd put it down to like uh, a 90, at most 80. It's a good music class movie to show. Overall, I would give this movie a very high 3 out of 5 reels. It could have been a 4, but there's too much stuff I just like to give it that score. What do you think, Gabe? For me, this movie is a total change of pace compared to movies I usually watch. But overall, I enjoyed it. But it isn't really my style. As far as musical movies go, this is one of the better ones I've watched for sure. But I feel like it was kind of long, like what Jacob said. I get where they're trying to show Andrew more as a person than just a drummer. But those scenes weren't nearly as good as the rest of the movie. <clears throat> but like I said, I enjoyed the movie. My favorite parts were when Fletcher and Andrew let out their pure anger. I thought J.K. Simmons' acting was fantastic in this movie, in those scenes, and it just made me feel bad for Andrew when he was getting yelled at, harassed, sweared at. So hard drumming, it was making his hands bleed. But to sum it up, this movie is worth watching if you're into music and things of that nature. I'm going to give the 2014 musical Whiplash a solid 3 out of 5 reels. I would maybe watch it again, but I think I've seen enough drumming for a lifetime after this one. As we wrap up this segment, make sure to hit the subscribe or make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when we go live again. Also, make sure to follow us on Facebook where we also go live every single Friday. Once again, thank you for watching us on Real to Real.